What's going on, everybody? I'm sure you guys are probably starting to get sick of seeing me around here, huh? Well, I'm at it again. We're on the PTR, and I went fishing for like three hours straight just to get enough tokens so that I could buy up every single pattern. And with all the leftover um, tokens that I got, I bought five different legendary patterns. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I made a couple other videos on the, about the PTR and how you can buy these patterns with the tokens that will give you a guaranteed 600 gear score roll. And also these patterns are buying on equip so you can sell them in the market. It's just a matter of who's gonna be getting to Maestro first when this update is live. And whoever does is gonna be making probably some pretty decent money selling these patterns. Um, but anyway, what I did is I got one of all of these so that um, First of all, I could show you what it's going to be like crafting these because you get these at the bard level and you know, it's a new armor. It looks cool. So I bought a bunch of these enough to make one set of the medium, one set of the light, one set of the heavy. And I also bought five extra, you know, legendary ones so that you guys could see what kind of stats you get with them. And you know, it's always exciting watching somebody craft, you know, legendary stuff. When you see that orange, as soon as you craft it, you know, you get that dopamine hit. So. Hope you guys enjoy the video and after the videos you know once i'm done crafting all this stuff i'm also going to show you guys what all three of the you know armor sets look like so that's going to be kind of cool and the only thing that sucks is we can't see what the skins look like because they just don't work i've tried buying them and they don't work but hey it's a ptr that's what it's for testing shit out um so let's go ahead and get started Right, so funny story. I had a house in Monarch's Bluff, but since the PTR chaos, they spawned in this giant Chartus and all these crazy big spawns, and it broke Monarch's Bluff. And right now on the PTR, when you go to Monarch's Bluff, it is just so bugged out. Check this out. And the only reason I'm mentioning this is because I can't get my third trophy to apply. You know, my third armoring trophy. So that kind of sucks for the crafting video, but it is what it is. And I can't make a new character because, you know, they don't give us any craft mods to make like crafting jewelry or earrings. And this is the only character I actually have, you know, uh, look at my guys already glitched. Um, my earrings, I have an armor earring. I have a weapon smithing one, a jewelry one. And those are so hard to get on the, the PTR. You've got to like craft tons and open up all kinds of aptitude chests just to get lucky and maybe get a craft mod, you know, for armoring or jewel crafting. So I'm not going through that again. So I am going to do, you know, all those crafts I just talked about. We're just going to be down one armor's trophy. And they don't give us any town buffs for crafting. You know, no armor's inspiration, nothing. And, you know, I just, I don't know. I love this game. And like I was saying before, it has a bunch of potential, but I just, I don't, I'm starting to think they really just don't care anymore. You know, look, the, the marketplace is gone. And my house that I had was one of these houses. And it, you just go right through the floor. There's no housing menu. There's no options. Like all they need to do is probably restart the server, but you know, and I've submitted feedback. Like I said, they don't, I don't think they even watch this channel. I'm not quite giving up on Amazon, but it's, it's not looking good guys. This game is amazing. And this game is so much fun, but you can have the best game in the world with all the potential in the world. But if it's not run by a good team, it's, it's not going to go anywhere. But I'm still, I'm still hoping, you know, I'm on that copium and you know, hoping that things turn out good. You know, it's it's never the end till it's the end. You know what I mean? But anyway, so yeah, Monarch's Bluff wiped off the map. Don't have any armoring trophy for it. So we're going to be down a couple gear score points. All right. All right. So before we start crafting the, you know, guaranteed 600 gear score stuff from these, we're going to craft the green ones. So we're going to craft those first. I have all my armoring stuff on and I have my armoring earring and I'm going to eat my cabbage soup. And remember there's no town buff. So we're going to be missing automatically 
um, five gear score points, and I'm also down one trophy because Monarchs is bugged. So we're going to have to work with that. And just, you know, for the sake of the video and, and keeping things consistent, we're going to go with uh, Constitution for all these ones. Now, with these patterns, it's just like the legendary ones. You can pick Constitution, Dexterity, you know, just like the other ones. Focus, and we're just going to do Constitution for all of them. So, and we're also going to go with the random perks. I'm not going to choose anything. We're just going to go random perks and full Azoth. And remember, this would be 595 to 600. So it's just like anything else at 150. The way the new crafting system is, everything's at 150. If you're crafting it without a timeless shard and without a um, stopwatch or runic watch. So let's go ahead and craft them and see what we get. All right, and now we're gonna craft the legendary stuff. And the nice thing about these, like I said, you can sell these on the market. And in the very beginning, they're probably gonna go for quite a bit. So let's go ahead and craft them and see what we get with that third perk. So when you craft these, these are different than the green ones. They're different in two ways. So first, you know, they're going to be a guaranteed 600. You don't have to have any armory. It requires armoring level zero, but it does require a tier five crafting station. And it also requires these materials. They are going to be, whether you have light, heavy, or medium, they're going to have a guaranteed elemental aversion perk and refreshing. This is the perk bucket for the macro stuff that you can craft on the PTR. And your most common one is going to be Empowering Armor Breaker. And I thought there was another one. And then your 6.49% are Refreshing, Refreshing Ward. Now you're already going to get Refreshing, so that one doesn't count. They're going to be guaranteed to come with Refreshing and Elemental Aversion. But you're going to have a, a good chance of getting Empowering Breaker, Refreshing Ward, Refreshing Evasion, Freedom, Vigor, and Invigorated. And after that, Physical Aversion, and Ancient Ward, Angry Earth Ward, Beast Ward, Corrupted Ward, and Lost Ward. And then after that, it's all, you know, 0.28 and 0.31% chances. So those are gonna be your main perks up here. So you have a pretty good chance of getting Freedom, Vigor, or Empowering Breaker as your third perk. And I'll put a link for this in the description so that you guys can check it yourself. That's pretty nice. Jeez, that's... So if you were to buy this on the market, this would be pretty expensive. That's why I think these patterns are going to go for a lot because 
the third perk has a pretty high chance of being freedom. And there's Empowering Breaker right there. Let's see if we can get another freedom. And that's it. So we're just going to take a quick look at all these. Just so you can see what kind of perks they have. So this is what your light set looks like. This is the medium set. And this is your heavy set. And that's it everyone thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about the crafting or the perk bucket or anything that i just discussed please let me know in the comments and i'll answer you as soon as i can thanks for watching everyone have a great day